Hey, welcome back to Plastic Addictions Anonymous. In this video, we are going to do an unboxing of the Atlantis 55 Chevrolet two-ton steak truck. It's a very cool looking build. It is in 148 scale. Uh, it has clear parts for windows. It has detailed an engine, chassis, and movable hood. It also has barrels, crates, and two figures that come with it. It's made and also made in the USA. And here is what the kit box looks like. On your screen at the bottom, you can see where how you can make it. All right, first thing I'm going to open the box. I don't think I've even opened the bag here, have I? Yep. Nope, haven't even opened the bag yet. So let's get right on into it. Let me grab my little, <clears throat> excuse my voice, guys. I'm really having a problem. I've been sick for about 10 days now, and I'm really trying to get over it. So bear with me here while I try to get things together for us. All right, so again, this is a Atlantis kit. It will be the second one I did. We did the Sinclair here uh, not long ago. You can check that out, the Sinclair uh, fuel tanker. So you guys want to check that out. All right, so we're just going to pull the tab. There we go, and it should open the rest of the way up now. All right, so here we go. All right, that's all molded in blue. It's a very cool, it's more like a marine blue, or a, how would I say a... A pristine blue I guess you would call it so you're gonna have to paint the tires and wheels and everything nothing on this kit comes chrome as well all of this is um, all of this is molded in blue as you can tell we're gonna go one piece at a time so as you can see here we have the full entire hood enclosure here the hood is there here we have the black I'm sorry here we have the back panel for the cab as well as the top for the cab and the front of the truck is here. Very well detailed. It doesn't have a whole lot of splash on it, I don't see. Looks like it's fairly clean and tooled nicely. Um, looks like it might be curbside. I'm not positive about that. I know it's a detailed engine, but I do see an engine pan in the bottom here. Right here. There is an engine pan in the bottom of this front end. Uh, both doors and front of side of cab. There's the cab back, as I said. Let's see. Uh, here's your crates. Here's a bunch of crates for you that are all lined up and stacked up, as well as your two men, your two figures. Looks like mirrors. This is your rear end springs, front rear front spring, rear cross member. Uh, there's your radiator. Let's see what else do we have here. Looks like a tie rod. So everything again is molded in blue, including the tires, guys. So get that black paint out, that silver paint out, so you can make the rims look good. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, and the other two are in here, six, seven, and three or eight. Should be one, two more missing, right? Correct, because it is only one single set of wheels in the back. Your barrels are here. Uh, as I was correct, this is going to be a semi curbside, so it's got some engine parts, but not many, guys, okay? Uh, you got two halves of barrels, your steering wheel. Uh, looks like your dashboard here, guys. Right here is your dashboard. Let's see what else we got coming in here. Oh, look at that, man. Look at the steak slides. It's very, very cool. There's your bed. Uh, there's your chassis. Chassis is one piece. You don't have to fight with all the cross members and so forth. And also your drivetrain looks like it's already into place as well. So, and that looks like the adjustment for the rear wheels. <clears throat> so let's see. We got two insides. All these come off. It looks like if you clean up the holes nicely, you could lift each one of these off and put them however you want to. Uh, there's not a whole lot to this kit. I didn't get how many pictures, uh, excuse me, pieces it was. Again, there goes one of those bloopers you guys get to see with my with my tongue twisting. Uh, there's your floor mat, floorboard, floor mats, nicely done. Again, not a lot of flash on this thing, guys. It looks like it's cleaned very, very well and tooled very, very well. Uh, should be a clean kit build. Also, it's going to be kind of small. There's your windshield, your two side windows, and your back window here. There's your two side windows and your back windows down here. I'm trying to get it to where you guys can see it a little better. All right, so we got that. And there's the other two tires that fell off the sprue. As well as it looks like, let's see what that might be. That looks like it could be, let's see, what is that? Some kind of a barrel tap. That looks like some kind of a barrel tap, guys. Maybe it goes on top of the barrel, or maybe it goes. It's a tool that goes with the barrel. I'm not sure. Maybe it's a maybe it's a moving component. <laughs> I don't know. It's a um, <clears throat> to move the barrels around. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But that was in the bottom as well. There's the other tire I said I had. All right, small decal sheet. <clears throat> Very cool little decals. Though. It says fragile handle with care. Uh, this end up it says handle with care here in cursive writing as well. 
Uh, this is a steak kit number, and it's got the number, and it's a 2020 Atlanta. So this kit was actually retooled in 2020. It shows right here. Uh, I would cut, I'm going to be cutting that out and putting it in the box when I save the box, just so everybody knows that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, so we're going to put that there. Uh, again, it's a 1955 Chevy steak truck. And here's your instructions. The truck should come out something of this nature when you're, excuse me, let me put this down just a hair. There we go. So you guys see it a little bit better. The steak truck is very nice truck. The hood opens up. Uh, it's got nice little details around all the, all, the, all the boards on the back. You can paint them brown to make them look real wood. Uh, right here, it's telling you to read this before you begin. It gives you a little bit of detail about the steak truck. Uh, so you know what it is. It's a Chevy steak truck. All right, first thing they're going to have you do. The instructions are your normal, you know, Atlantis uh, fe fe uh, features. Uh, basically, you read each and everything as it goes along. A part one will go to this part, and part two will go to this part. They also give you the illustration here at the top. Um, as you can see, there's not a whole lot of parts here, guys. Okay, so you're not going to get a whole lot of build out of this unless you do a lot of customizations on it. Uh, painting is a big thing on these because these are all molded in color. I am going to be painting the chassis black as well as painting the deck brown to make it look wood, but I'm probably going to be leaving the blue coloring because I, I kind of like that. So there really are only four instructions in this whole entire thing. It opens up as one sheet. Up here, you're going to find out your parts list. So it'll tell you all the parts of what numbers they are all the way down. So there's like 45 parts in here. It shows here. So there's not a whole lot of parts, guys. So uh, Also, they're showing little details here for the rear end, how the rear end snaps again on. Similar to the Sinclair, because the Sinclair is also the wheels roll. So you can either glue them in place or you can put them together. Again, your front end. There's your front cross member and there's your tie rod. Uh, let's see. There's your, your steering rod, excuse me. Uh, also showing you the snap-in part with the wheels here. Try to, get, try to give you guys a little bit better of a view. How about that? Is that better? There we go. All right. So there's where you're putting the wheels in. This is the cab and everything being put together. Uh, where you put your seats in. Your in. Down here, they're going to show you how to put, where you put your new doors. Uh, so number two is you're going to be your doors and adding your other components to the outside of the truck to get the truck to start looking like a truck. Um, as you can see here, they have it flipped upside down, and now they're going to be putting the rear end in. So what I'm probably going to end up doing, because I'm painting the chassis as well as the rear end, is I'm probably going to be jumping into here and doing this whole part first. And then flipping it back over and doing the rest of the stuff on top because I want all this one color. I'm probably going to do all this black, maybe a little bit of blue details in it. Uh, when it comes to the cab inside, I'm not sure. Maybe a little suede or something on the seats. I'm not sure if it was plastic seats, suede seats, leather seats. Um, I'll have to look that up. Uh, down here gives you more instructions on note that the, how to paint it. Also where each one of these stakes goes. And your windshield on these go to the outside of the windows, guys, not on the inside. You do not put the windshield on the inside of these. They literally glue to the outside of the <coughs> excuse me, windshield frame. Uh, your hood would go in here. Uh, well, your mirror. Let's see. What else? Like, I'm trying to see if I can see where that little mechanism goes. Nope. They show you where to put the decals on top where it says all for I handle with care. I would recommend painting these crates brown. Uh, you want to give it as much old look as you can. And that's about it, guys. There's your instructions here. Also on the back here, it literally gives you a paint diagram and tells you what color to paint each and everything as it's already built. Okay, it's a painting guide for the 1955 Chevy steak truck. It says it at the top here. Uh, it's telling you that there's brown, flesh, red, blue. There's a decal involved in the painting in this, and there's also a tan involved in this one. Under the hood is going to be blue, silver with a decal. They're going to give you gray pants, dark gray shirt, and they're showing you all the containers and things are brown. There's going to be gray on the box in the middle, and there's decals that go on the doors, as well as tan in the front end, as well as tan in the seat. So that is going to be some kind of a tan suede. Uh, there's got some gray parts on the hood in front, some red parts on the bottom on the chassis it shows here, some gray on the wheels, silver, they're having you do silver around the window. Uh, let's see what else here. We got red underneath the entrance truck. Oh, there we go. Gray, black, red underneath the truck and silver. So you guys follow those directions pretty good and you should have the truck that you see right there on your screen. It should look pretty nice if you guys just take your time at it. Again, as usual, I keep everything, including the number I got. I got it from Hobby Lobby for $19.99 plus 40% off. So I think I paid like eight bucks for it. Nine bucks for it, something like that. Okay. So there's your... Atlantis 1955 Chevy steak truck. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing uh, as much as you're going to hopefully enjoy the video that I make when I'm building it. Uh, have a great night. Again, thanks again. Like, subscribe, share, follow. Hit that bell so that you know I'm doing little things like this when I put the stuff out. Thanks, guys. Uh, and talk to you later. I'm out of here. Oh, coming up. The build. The buster. The gangbuster build. We're bringing this one up in live next. We're going to take care of this one. Keep an eye out for that video. As well as we're doing the Jeep Wrangler Cubicon, Rubicon. So come back and check us out, guys, as to these builds. And these live shows that I'm going to be doing, I am back in the hot seat as of probably uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. Have a great night, guys. Thanks for checking us out. Plastic Addictions Anonymous on Facebook and YouTube. We don't hide our addiction. We take pictures and videos of it and post them for all the world to see, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, it's my first one. I've been gone for a while. So, uh, hope it's okay. Enjoy, guys.